Gameplay! <laughs> Alright, uh, Clock Tower stage. Actually, one of my favorite ones, I think. Uh, which stage number is this again, though? Six, it says. Yeah. Um, not sure if that means it's, uh, stage five because it's the fifth night, or sixth stage, but, uh, yeah. There's a way where it says he's drunk and he has lice. Oh, this know. part's less than 30 minutes, too. Huzzah! Yeah. Well, so was the last part. Um, let me see. I'm trying to remember which boss this stage has. I think it's the Cyber Baby. Cyber Baby? Yeah. Chucky? <laughs> <laughs> You'll wait, see. Wait, wait, you want to classify Chucky as a cyborg? He does at one point. He, is, he becomes one at one point. <laughs> what, what, what Chucky movie am I missing here? It's, it's one of the later ones, I think. Okay, so I have a very different mindset to you guys, because I automatically jump to Rugrats when you say Chucky and not... Um... What, Funzo? No, 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 no. he's talking about Chucky, Chucky the kid, not, not, oh. the, not the doll. Oh. Uh, yeah. We're nearing the top of the official tower. Um, then you have to do the upside-down tower and just drop down a whole bunch. <laughs> no. Um, the, the clock tower is one of the longer stages in the game. It, it has four acts to it. As you can see, the one above it has five acts. We're probably going to be there for a while, aren't we? When we get um, there. Not really sure. I, I, well, this is one of the longer stages, but it's also one of the shorter parts, so... How odd. Th that either means sense. I'm playing. That either means I play the stage really well, or it just doesn't take that long to complete. And uh, some of the stages later on are really short. Like there's this one stage that's five blocks high. It's just a matter of getting up those five blocks is a pain in the ass. Well, on easy mode, don't you get the super boost drinks that let you skip stage parts? Yeah, but that only lets you skip three blocks high. Oh. Yeah. I, I thought you get like an unlimited amount of those or something. Oh, yeah, they pop up at random all throughout the level. So then you could basically skip the entire uh, thing, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it, that, that stage was... I, I, I seem to remember it being kind of hilarious on very easy mode. You, oh, you used very... Oh, yeah, you said you used very easy mode to, like... Yeah, like, I, I used it stuff. to unlock the endings. I used it to unlock the endings. Well, it just lets you go through quick, quick, quick. Yeah, yeah, quick, yeah. Quick, that, quick, that was quick the yeah. It, it's like I, I, can't, I shall call can't. it a seventh generation Pokemon. Quick, well, quick, when you're playing, <laughs> when you're playing normal mode, you're almost inevitably going to get stuck um, on one of the bosses. Well, not necessarily stuck, but I mean stalled because it's going to take a while to to not die. Is it is it at this point in the game where you consider it to start getting like brutally hard, or is it, were we still have we seen the worst already? Um, it, I would say like uh, is, not counting the cathedral. I'd say spiral corridor and and clock tower are where the difficulty sort of evens out. The cathedral is the last stage in the game, I assume. Right? The cathedral is the level where you're escorting. Catherine with a K through the dream. Well, it's a good thing that guy wasn't in any rush. <laughs> it's not murder if you let the guy kill himself, right? Um, I, the thing about enemies that try to kill you, um, they, I don't think they, um, they will actually actively attack you if you're a space below them. So you have to be in their line of sight. Yeah. You have to be a, a space away and within their line of sight, and there's always a delay before they actually attack. Or like a, like a humongous swing or something like that? Um, there's a delay before they even move, I think. Uh. And that's your window of opportunity to hit them instead. So how do you fight back? I mean, do you push them off? You just yeah, sort of you smack push, them. You, you can push them, and, you'll, you'll, you, and if you do that, you'll push them down a level. Or off an edge, as the case may be. <laughs> it's like a disciplinary smack? Yeah. No, bad sheep. Hey, stop that. <laughs> Don't. Hey, you. Cut that out. <laughs> God damn it, I went and... Th this, is, this is the part where, where, where pulling blocks out gets really, anno gets really annoying. You don't have much room to work here. Yeah. Good thing I, I went to the trouble of learning that, that... What are you doing past me? This... 
Climb up onto the ice and climb. Yeah, the I was about to say, it's a climb on the ice one. Murder <laughs> sheep scares me. <laughs> Damn it. Can't you grab uh, onto the edge of one of those blocks? No. No, I can't. Oh. Okay, to the to the side. Yes, yes, yes. Go past me. That was amusing. As in, Let me do it again. <laughs> <laughs> it was amusing. I can no. But, maybe that's how they became the big evil. That maybe that's how the people become the like evilest cheat possible. They just undo and keep on murdering the same person over and over to grind. It's like points. Emperor Joker. <laughs> Uh, this is, you know, you know, this this area should not be as hard as it is. I just completely screwed myself up. Oh, uh, did you push blocks down that you needed, or something like yes. that? Yes. Well, I I pushed blocks down that were on the side, and I steadily started just dropping entire groups of blocks. Well, is this still the same session as before? Are you still delirious, tired? Mm, I don't remember. Well, Possibly. hold on. If I look at the upload date. For this part 10 as opposed to part 9. Okay, part 10 was uploaded on May 12, May 2nd, 2013. Part 9 was uh, was uploaded November 13, 2012. God damn. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> so obviously not the same session then. <laughs> I guess you were just out of practice then. Or maybe you were stuck on this for so long that it took you a few months to actually solve the puzzle. God damn it. <laughs> Going backwards. <laughs> backwards. Sometimes we're not, we're not at the reverse clock tower yet. Oh, jeez. You know, if you keep undoing, at some point you just hit it you just hit a dead end where you can't undo anymore. Well, at that point you could just undo to the start of the level. God damn it. If there were only one more block there. <laughs> do you, how do you get more undos? You like don't. Oh. Every time you every time you move a block, you can go back, uh, like up to ten undos. Uh, um, but you don't regain those undos when you hit a when, when you um when you. So move if another, I uh, undo nine times and I move a block, I can't undo another further ten times. I can only undo another, right like one. Okay. Yeah. So ten yeah. undos per stage. No, uh, you can you can go back up to ten spaces, but if you uh, if you just went back ten spaces and then moved one block, you can only do one more undo. Oh, I see. Okay. And then you'd have to. And then if you did another five, you can only go back to that first uh, ten. Okay, God I think damn. I. Are, are you, are you mind fucking that sheep? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm trying to figure out how to get past it. And you did the sensible option of just bobbing him on the head. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you gonna go grab that uh, block? Oh, you grab the oh, grab the chocolate milk. Get the Pepsi. <laughs> it's right I'm there. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get to it, but I'm not sure how to do that. Come on, come on. Now that that's the energy drink you're talking about, though, right? The one that lets you skip three blocks. To, uh, the the regular Five. energy drinks in normal mode let you skip two. The two. ones you get in very easy mode let you skip three. Oh, okay, okay. Undo and just ones... use the the super drink. Well, I, I, I'm um, I'm three blocks down, oh, so he, I can't he, use it. He'd be considered a pansy if you did that. Or no, you, oh, you can, you, oh, you, you can, can set oh, yourself like on a, fire. Oh, you can use it for um, you can use it for like a long time. Okay, interesting. Yeah, and that is what makes the, the very easy mode so ridiculously easy. <laughs> you can pretty much just skip every level at that point, right? Just More or less. Jump, activate the moon jump co-wire cool on it. Uh, there aren't that many places where you need to climb more than three blocks. And even those places you can just bullshit your way past. Yeah, no, I don't ever see myself making it very far in this game. But this alone is already... Uh, dude, pass I... me. You could have so easily climbed up that just by pushing that one block and collapsing the thing. Yeah. <laughs> are you just not? Do you just not like puzzle games, or are you just not good at them, John? Uh, it depends on the puzzle. Well, like, like uh, games like Tetris or like you know the stack. I like blocks. Tetris. The Tetris is nowhere near as complicated as this. Well, um, true, but uh, that, 
But like these could, sorts of puzzle games, you don't like as much. Not those, I'm horrible, horrible, horrible at Tetris. I am conversely actually pretty good at Mean Bean Machine. I am not a fan of those type of puzzles where you have to think ten steps ahead, because I'm just not very good at that. And that's actually what you need to do in Tetris, though. <laughs> uh, it depends, really, because well, not really. You just have to have a good eye for geometry. Uh, that really. and you just have a, have to good have a good stack. It's kind of luck based. <laughs> yeah, and you have to set yourself up for things. Well, not re it's not just a, it's not it's just a matter of trying to make uh, it, even it's, lines. It's like it's like poker. You don't know what you're gonna get, but you do have to anticipate. Yep. Yes, he fell. <laughs> he died. He splatted, and then blocks fell on top of him. Maybe he got uh, hit by a spike block. Well, actually, he might have just been eaten by something giant with really dirty teeth like uh, Tutorial Guy's going to be. Oh, whoops, spoiler alert. That wasn't subtle at all. That is the proper way to knock down blocks, as opposed to the improper way, which I helpfully demonstrated during that last stage. <laughs> But yeah, uh, a thing about the goal block, this doesn't count in Rapunzel, because if you knock the goal block down, you lose the stage. But in the in the regular stages, if you knock the goal block down a peg or two, it doesn't change the fact that when you land on it, you win. So is that... do you think that's bad because it's kind of misleading, or...? No, um... It, it's it's not bad, it's just something you need to understand about, about Rapunzel that's different than the regular game. Because the the goal block is actually right at the uh, at the bottom edge of Rapunzel's hair in the arcade cabinet game, so if you knock that down, you lose, even if it just drops by a by a space. But uh, in the in the regular stage, it doesn't matter how far you drop the goal block; you just need to land on the goal block. Are there any like glitchy situations where if you move the like, when the staircase appears after you reach the goal, you know, does it, like, does the staircase go through any other blocks if you move the, uh, no. the, the goal block? No, it, no, it doesn't. It just lands right behind the, the goal block. Aww. Um, I don't think it's ever possible for there to be something above the, uh, the, uh, goal block in a stage. I've never seen that happen before. No, the goal block would usually just be the very top of the tower. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, any, mini, miny, mo. If you say you pick what sounds honest, that's a chaos boost. What? Huh? I don't get that. It's like if you if you pick what you think you should be saying, that's a law boost. If you pick what feels honest, that's a chaos boost. Um. Okay. Hold on. Maybe. Hold on. I'm gonna try to uh, bullshit justify this. Um. Maybe it's. Uh. If if you're answering honestly, you are being open, but. Uh, which is you're being chaos. true to your heart. You're being true to your heart rather than to what society wants of you. There, yeah, I just justify exactly. it. There you go. That's exactly what it is. You're really good. But yeah, that's another one where it's uh, where you know it could be swapped either way, and you know it just doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, what uh, what Astaroth here just implied was actually that some of the sheep just hang out in the rest areas until they wake up, so they wind up spending a whole lot longer than a week in here before they either get out or get out or die. Oh, so you don't have to. Um, so you don't. Uh, so you can just stay there for as long as you want, and you don't have to. Um... I think at this point I'm trying to figure out which is the law answer and which is the chaos answer because if I were honestly answering this question, it would be break up with them. Pick one. <laughs> well, I mean, like, when I, you think about it, what? Do you, how exactly do you make your cheating spouse end the affair? They by being very them to stop angry, having sex with them. Hey, stop that! <laughs> hey, you, <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> That's the answer for everything. Cosgrove had it right. <laughs> Oh, so nightmares are magnifications of everyday stress. Okay. I thought eating spicy food would make you... No, that's sleepwalking. <laughs> spicy food will make you sleepwalk? What? Well, no, it's just not recommended that you eat spicy food before going to sleep. Why? 
it's not it's not because of sleepwalking. I think it's just a myth. Uh, there are a lot of myths about sleep and food. Really, the only thing you have to worry about is not eating too soon, too, too close to bedtime. Because if you lay down while you're still digesting and your stomach uh, sort of sits the there, eight, eight foods that disrupt sleep. How brightly they glow will help you figure out which. Um, uh, wait, I thought it was. A, wait, what is this? Damn, Ed. Huh. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we're not finishing of... the clock tower this part. Oh, that's why it's so short. Oh, oh right. <laughs> I forgot. This is where the stages start taking two parts. Joy. There we go. Eight foods that disrupt sleep. Dark chocolate. Steak. Alcohol. Oh. <laughs> why specifically dark chocolate? Uh, well, let me see. Let me read what this reasoning is. Nibbling on a piece of dark chocolate might cure a late night sugar craving, but that sweet satisfaction might be short lived. Certain dark chocolates, such as Hershey's Bliss dark chocolate, have a much has as much as twenty five to thirty eight percent of the amount of caffeine found in a standard cup of coffee. That's what uh, I think about people right. turning. Mm. I okay. forgot caffeine was a chocolate thing. And uh, alcohol, that's more related to this game. Uh, spicy food, decaf coffee, broccoli or cauliflower. French fries. Alcohol isn't a food. <laughs> what the fuck? It's something you can consume. Uh, and chili. Why Kaboom! broccoli and cauliflower? Uh, let me re let me reload that. Because <laughs> I actually just sort of skimmed that. Here we go. Being healthy by eating your veggies has a time and place, but it's not before bed. Some roughage, like broccoli and cauliflower contain tryptophan, which actually helps the body produce serotonin and regulate sleep. However, eating too close to bedtime, vegetables with high amounts of slow-to-digest fiber can keep your body working well into the night while you're trying to get some shut-eye. Ah. Uh, now, why would anyone ever need that many spring blocks? <laughs> um, what does the trophy do? The bell. It, it, it makes blocks normal, and I don't want that. Why not? Is because I already have an item. Oh, so if you pick up an it's item, it's something it, it, that doesn't automatically activate. It's something you can store. Yeah. What Looney okay. Tune in life is it? Be thinking when I hear this song all the time. Uh, oh, it's song. the it's the well, I know it's the da da well, da, well, da da Well, well, that that part I know. I'm talking about the main music. I, I, I think that you know what I I think this one comes up a lot in Bugs Bunny, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, I know that the the da 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 da, da is just a tur like a I don't know like the name of the symphony or whatever, but I know it's used as like a traditional peaceful song. And stuff. that melody, yeah, yeah, that that melody comes up like. I mean, I, I, I specifically mean this one. <laughs> yeah. That, is it that, the that, same? Is it the same uh, symphony? Uh, hold on. I, I, well, I, I'm going to research just that. This just shit. that one part of this comes up in a lot of things. Is all. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm hearing the music now, and I, I definitely see why you get Looney Tunes by or Merry Melodies, just in general. Yeah. Uh. Oh crap! Why did I push that away? <laughs> <laughs> no, do it again. <laughs> Oh crud! Um, the sound uh, of screams helps me think. That made me really nervous. Okay. Oh wait, I just heard the I just heard that uh the song the, it, it plays when usually when like a, like during a, a sunrise. Yeah. 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 I'm talking it, about the the, ma the main <laughs> thing they're it, playing here. Okay. Well, in any case, like I said, the stage music is all classical, so you've probably heard it in about five or six different places. So there's nothing original in this soundtrack at all? Uh, no, not during the stages. Uh, the, the original music plays during cutscenes and bar scenes. Hmm. What are we, it's, not just, it's not just the symphony. we got some rocking out here, too. I hear the guitars and the drums. Uh, is there a guitar in there? I I definitely hear some sort of riff. 
All I'm hearing is orchestra. <laughs> okay, so hold on. The first part, at the very least, is called Morning Mood, or in Norwegian, Morning Stimmen, or in German, Morgenstimmung, and is a combination a composition belonging to Edvard, Edvard Gregg's Piergnit. Um, something, lots and lots of different... Um, it's from a play. Um, it's from a play, basically, so I think it, uh, might- it, Oh, it's probably from- uh, the rest of the song's probably a different movement from this same, um, song. Basically. If it that sounds like sense. a combination. Yeah. yeah. How, how old is this? How old is this? Um, yeah. 1800s. Public domain! <laughs> Um, I used Wikipedia for all that info, so if any of you classical music nuts um, have some more relevant, or I should say not relevant, accurate information, or better described information, uh, comment box. I'm actually kind of interested. Please. I want to see some credentials. <laughs> ah, more spike blocks. Bomb blocks destroy other blocks, though, right? Um, they crack them, actually, um, and they, 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 they destroy other bomb blocks that are directly in the vicinity. But those bomb blocks don't explode and set off other bomb blocks, strangely enough. So, it, it'll only ever affect a certain number of blocks. Can a bomb block, hurt? can a bomb block, uh, hurt, the bomb block only hurts you if you're standing on top of it when it explodes, right? Um, I don't think it hurts you at all, actually. Then what's the point of it? But besides, they, uh, they they completely do, do, do fuck do up the area yeah. around it around you, so they can make life difficult. So it's, it's like not they an actual really did at the end. Uh, beyond uh, like increasing the likelihood of you getting stuck or falling to your death, no. Hmm. Much more problematic in hard mode when you don't have an undo button. <laughs> 